Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulonto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I'm gonna share my travel gear setup. And you can probably see that I'm not in Helsinki, Finland. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I'm traveling. I'm here to enjoy the tropical weather and meet some old friends. And you probably know some of my old friends because uh, they are here on YouTube as well. Um, and if you don't know Robin Wong's channel, please check it out. I'll put the link down below. Robin is such a nice guy and we are probably going to make some content together with Robin in the upcoming weeks and months. So keep your eyes on our channels so you won't miss anything important. About six months ago, I made a relatively short two-week trip to Lisbon, Portugal. And on that trip, I had uh, a very minimal gear setup. I only had my Ricoh GR3 and 3X and my GoPro Hero 8. This time I'm gonna be traveling for several months. So obviously I had to bring a lot more gear because I had to be able to make my videos and edit and post process and all that. And I'd really like to thank Focus Nordic Finland for their support. They lended me so much gear for this trip and without their help my camera back content would probably look a little bit different and not as, uh, say, versatile and generous. So many, many thanks to Focus Nordic Finland. Let's first check out my camera bag, which is the Think Tank Airport Essentials. And based on my flight from Helsinki to Kuala Lumpur, which was a pretty, let's say, long trip, this bag proved to be an excellent bag for air travelers. And uh, this is just about the right size, at least for my needs. It can easily take my 14-inch laptop and all my gear, and there's even some extra space for some personal items in this bag. Very nice bag so far at least. My travel tripod is the Siri Traveler X and I believe the model code is ST125 and right now it's supporting my main video camera, my main hybrid camera, the Sony a7 IV. And so far the Siri tripod looks like a very very nice travel tripod. It's super lightweight, carbon tripod very compact but um, I'll get back to that tripod in a separate video in the very near future. And now let me show you my cameras and lenses for this trip. Like I already said my main camera is the Sony a7 IV which currently is filming me and the lens on the Sony at the moment is the brand new Tamron 20 to 40 millimeter f 2.8 zoom and uh, it looks like uh, pretty much the perfect uh, zoom lens for this kind of videos that I usually make. And my second video camera, my B video camera, B roll camera is the Sony uh, ZV-1 with the Sony grip and this is such a great camera because it's also very good uh, camera for photos if necessary and it has a really nice versatile 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent zoom lens. And then of course I have my Ricoh GR3 and the 3X. I never go anywhere without these two cameras. They are, in my opinion, just about the perfect travel cameras, perfect street cameras and uh, very nice cameras for pretty much any type of photography. I also wanted to take my Fuji X-T30 and some Micro Four Thirds gear, but it's just impossible to take everything for uh, such a long trip because it would just be too much. And I believe I can maybe sneak into Robin's camera bag for some Micro Four Thirds gear if I happen to need some and uh, Azul already promised to lend his Fuji if I want to make a, a Fuji related video. So I think I'm pretty well covered in that regard. And then of course I have a couple of more lenses for my Sony a7 IV. I already mentioned the 20 to 40 millimeter brand new Tamron that is on the Sony right now. But I also brought the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8 G2. These zooms overlap a little bit, but I wanted to bring this also because it is such a versatile and very nice lens. I really, really like this Tamron 28 to 75. 
And then I also have the brand new Nisi 9mm f2.8 APS-C lens, fully manual lens and there's going to be a review in the very near future. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. And I also have the 7 Artisans 35mm f2 fully manual lens. And uh, there's going to be a review about this lens too in the very near future. I'm especially interested in this 7 Artisans 35mm f2 lens because I hope it can bring back some of those uh, Zeiss Loxia 35mm f2 vibes because I really really loved that Loxia lens which I no longer have and uh, so far I have only shot a few pictures on this lens but it looks very very promising for such an affordable lens and the last but not least I also have the Sony 40mm f2.5 G which is my only autofocus prime lens on this trip and I really look forward to using this lens because uh, even though I've had this lens for several months now I haven't used it that much which is a shame because uh, this is a really really super super nice lens so that's pretty much my gear setup for this long trip and you probably noticed that I don't have any telephoto lenses with me because I'm not really a telephoto shooter and of course I also have my 14 inch uh, MacBook Pro cables, chargers and stuff like that that I already unpacked a couple of days ago when I arrived here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm always very interested to know what other photographers bring when they travel so I hope this was also interesting and uh, helpful to you guys and if you found this entertaining and amusing please consider buying me a cup of coffee there's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland and here is one of my Portugal travel videos just in case you haven't seen it thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next video